realm of the past one look and I had found my future at last one look and I had found the world completely When love walked in, when love walked in, uh, three times, when love walked in with you, you like the three times at the yeah, end, it makes it more effective, yeah. right? Ask gravy. She's the best. Is her? Yeah, that baby. I had a cat that lived 20 years that looked like her. Her eyes are something else. Looks just like lighting. Lighting. When it gets dark, they look metallic blue and purple. The most incredible color. And also a panther's eyes. They're, one is yellow and one's green. Hmm. Is she, she's, how old is she? Around 10. Mine looked at 20. Can you imagine? What's her name? Gravy? Yeah. Do you talk to her? You said ask her. Do you talk to her? She's a wealthy cat. The gravy. You are. After I got back from my brother's, I said, "You don't know this, but you're a wealthy cat." I'm just kidding. Why is she wealthy? No, it's not. My brother's wealthy. <laughs> We're not. But I said, "You're a wealthy cat." Yeah, hey, your brother has all the money. You don't have. Any. Are we? Are we taking a break, or are we doing another one or two? We have this couple over that had so much money they were giving you. Excuse me, break. Phil. Is that is that off now? Or on you? Are you on there now? Oh, it's on. Yeah. Yeah. What we? No, I don't. Hi, folks. No, about who no, you're wealthy. My, my head is to the... No. Pammy me would never put my head to the... We could have an orgy right here, folks. Three people. Two women and a man. I mean, this lucky guy. This... Huh? No, I'm trying to figure out what this girl got. This grab daddy. Two gals and a guy, folks. We, we could have an orgy right here. He would love every moment of it. <laughs> if I let him, which I'm not going to. Oh, face straight. She doesn't go for that. No, I don't go. I never did that in my whole life, Faye. I never did that in my whole life. Did you have an origin? A great talk show host, besides just being a tremendous singer. He thinks I'm a great talk show host. Oh, you know, at my party, that's why. I, I was the talk show host. I introduced everybody and what they did over David's microphone, you know? I said, we have Richard Rothman here. We have Bear Jones here. But, I mean, I had famous people and at my party. Oh, Richard Rothman. But he won't be able to come up uh, five flights of stairs. Oh, really? All right, so what are we interviewing here? This is Phil Belpasso, folks. As if you don't know. You know, he would be great to come. Richard Rothman. I mean, he can't come up. He can't come up five flights of stairs. Show. Why don't you show the camera the flyer? Even though it won't be able to get okay. across. Where's, where's my flyer? One, one minute, folks. Look, she has this on her refrigerator. What? My, my, our contract. Oh, yeah. Where is my, or do I have it? I gave you all the flyers. You gave me a few. Well, where, where, yeah, well, I want to show it on camera. Yeah. You don't know what you did with it? Here it is. Okay, how close should I go, Phil? Phil, how should I, how close should I go? Phil? No, you can't go very close. Well, tell me. Right They'll pick this up, it'll pick this up. Okay, here, one to dead or alive, what? I owe you a close-up because it will come close. Okay. Right. Want to dead or alive? <laughs> All right. This is my flyer. It says Upfront Muse, 190-A Dwayne Street, Tribeca, Manhattan. So they can't miss, right? I put Tribeca, Manhattan because not everybody knows where Dwayne Street is. Uh, Nina put directions, subway directions on it. It says Arlene Keith. Song stylist, Saturday, May 5th, 1990. I'm saying this for posterity, so we'll remember. 8.15 p.m., contribution $4. For information, call 580-0686 or 334-9847. There you are. Okay. And your, your pianist? Uh, this is my pianist, Miss Faye Levine. Oh, what do you want me to tell? Well, I played in Paris, in Seattle, and um, we were, oh, in New York Town Hall. Carnegie Recital Hall, went to Juilliard, have my masters from there, write songs and um, cl play concerts, classical, modern music, romantic type music concerts. Okay, that's about it. We got a little close-up of your uh, Carnegie Hall poster oh, up there. Yeah. And uh, 
Oh, it anyway, seems okay. I have the mic. Um, we were we were going to play at the West End Cafe probably on Thursday, the day after tomorrow. It's going to be a big show. And we he says somebody thinks, and he's not as professional as you think. Really? Because he said to people that he'd be their managers, and they said he's no manager. He's not that kind of person. Well, how are we know I'm going to get 80% of the gate, though? You know, I don't think you're going to make so much money like you think. Yes, yeah, so you I know mean, what? You're this woman seventy dollars. You know. So you know, I told I, you know, something. I said, yeah. I said to Tom, I'm investing seventy dollars. I wouldn't. Invest what am I supposed to do? Christine wants thirty dollars. You said you wanted to be paid for rehearsal. Well, if you told me that you were going to pay the other woman, yeah. what am I supposed to say? I wasn't going to do it free. Yeah. Until we got there, of course. Yeah. Why not? I always have. I mean, you know. Yeah. Because I don't regard this as a town hall. I don't think it's a Carnegie. Oh, no. I mean, I'm not saying you know. it's such a great thing, Faye. No, Bill it's is the one nice. that's very nice. Bill people. is so excited. He's the one that's so excited for me about my big show, you know, and he wants to video it and everything. It's, it really doesn't matter where the hell you do something as long as you do it and it's a professional job. First of all, I don't you think since I'm resuming my career that that's a good starting place? <laughs> don't yeah. you? And that's all. And then you have to pay for Seven. the show? Yeah, and 30. Well, you're not even going to pull that. Because no one ever does pull that. So then I'll just be breaking even, maybe. Yeah, so you didn't have to. You could have made a little bit more for yourself. So what should I have done? Nothing. It's too late now. If you've negotiated with her, go through with it. Yeah. So I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the, uh... I wasn't doing it for the money in the first place. Because if I wanted to make my money, I would I'd huh? invest in a gown and I'd go out to a hotel and try to get a decent gig. You know, I'd put our focus in. Oh, what? You mean my amplifier? Where do you put this in? That's your camera. Is this thing on? It's not on. It's not on. I mean, it's on, but it's not working. I can't hear myself. Well, that's not good. Oh, it's a recording mic. You hear later? I can hear you. It's good. It's coming out of here. Okay. Can you hear me well? There's a somebody I'm longing to see that he turns out to be someone who will watch over me I'm a little lamb who's lost in the woods I know I could always be good to one who memory of his kiss I guess he's not for me then I repeat it all began I could now ad lib here it all began so well but what an end this is the time of 
lady needs a friend when every marriage no, happy plot ends with a marriage no He's not for me. I guess it's not for me. Isn't that pretty? It's too high. Don't you think it was too high the whole time? Thank you. Um, no, I don't know. I think that's the original key. It's too I, high, I, I though. No, no, I could do it in another key, but I mean, I made it, but it's a little yeah. high, you know. Well, I was the same key I did it before in the first, right? Was yeah, I'll yeah. transpose it with a pencil myself down. You know, like the key down. You know what I'm saying? If it's any flat, I'll just put it all down once. Oh, that's it. Okay. Is that your neighbor? Yeah. Come on. See ya. Oh, we're gonna have to close the show now. Okay. okay. Oh. Bye, folks. The neighbors are complaining. Yeah, well, it's Phil and Arlene signing off. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the West End, yeah.